Hello and welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Uh, it's quite an old printer this one. New video, old printer, uh, but we're just trying to complete uh, the video section on YouTube and on our website. So this one is the DCP Brother and it's a 130C. So it uses the LC1000 cartridges, uh, also known as LC960, LC970. So at the moment I've got the printer powered on uh, and I've got the ink cartridge bay door open. So when the continuous ink system arrives, the first thing you need to do before you start installing it is you just need to pierce the bottom of these cartridges so within there there is a, a tiny piece of, of film uh, so there is a little label on here normally that tells you you've got to pierce them I've taken that off for the purpose of the video so you just need to gently stab and pierce each one of the uh, the seals in the bottom of the cartridge so when that's done you can install this the cartridge block so just like a, a normal set of ink cartridges you're just going to install the cartridge block into the printer and just push it back and then what you need to do is you can just route your ink line over here around on the right hand side uh, and then you can just close your, close your door as normal so when you spin the machine round so even though the cable's coming out over here on the right hand side that's not enough even though the door's closed it's not enough to track or inhibit the ink flow at all so you can tidy up the cable on the side there's normally a black a black clip halfway down here so two types of clips we've got are these clips or we've got one like this which may be in your accessory pack so you're just going to pop that on the side there tidy the ink line up let's just move it up and then close the clamp and that will just keep it keep it nice and tidy so the ink line itself this is system uh, so it is long enough to reach uh, round the back of the printer if you haven't got room or normally it will just sit here on the side it's got quite a long ink line so the space you need for that continuous ink system is four and a half inch well 105 mil square room at the side of your printer so I've installed the <coughs> excuse me I've installed the ink cartridges and the printer knows it's got the ink cartridges in but what, I'm going to run a couple of head cleans because uh, this was a second hand printer that we bought from eBay uh, and it's likely it needs a couple of cleans uh, before we can carry on with the install so I'm going to select a cleaning cleaning and let's just have a look cleaning start press the wrong button there I should have checked this one out before I uh, test print cleaning okay now I don't want the black uh, all colours. Okay, so it's doing a head clean. So we'll move back round to the continuous ink system while it's doing its head clean. So on top of the continuous ink system, you need, need to remove the four small flat plugs. So these large plugs are your refill holes, so you'll take them out to refill the system. Uh, and then these ones here are for your air breather holes. So within your accessory pack, you will have some air filters which look like this so what you need to do is you just need to pop the air filter in when you're looking at the air filter it's got a short stubby fat end uh, and then a narrow pointed end so please excuse all the ink on my hands uh, it's not come from this system I've been doing a lot of videos today uh, and not been wearing my gloves so yeah just install all four of the air filters like that and then you can pop that back out the side of the continuous well, at the side of the printer uh, and that's how it will sit but please remember continuous ink systems have to be installed at the same level as the base of the printer if you don't it's possible that it, it could flood your printer so that bit's quite important you can just pop that at the side like that uh, and that's it installed so at the moment it's running through its head clean what I'll do is I'll, I'll try running a print <coughs> Uh, and see if it needs another one. I'm not quite sure because I haven't tested this printer since we bought it. So when it's done, I've basically I've got a document. I've just got a photo underneath, and I'm just going to scan this photo and uh, see what it comes out like, and then we'll see. Might have to do another clean. So as you can see, with the Brother Continuous Ink Systems, they are really easy to install. That's it. It's literally taken three or four minutes for me to install this ink system and it's done and now I'm just going to run the cleans 
And so they, out of all the continuous ink systems we sell, Brother are the easiest continuous ink systems. We do find the printers very reliable. They don't use chips on their cartridges, so you, you, never, any, you never get any of that ink cartridge cannot be recognised issue. So I'm just going to do, let's just have a look, just going to do a copy uh, and then see what it comes out like. So it's scanning the document. <clears throat> also the other reason we like the Brother Continuous Ink Systems is that they have this fixed cartridge head. So it means that once it's installed your cartridge block never moves so you get no moving parts, no moving ink lines or nothing. So that's what makes them so reliable for Continuous Ink Systems. Whether Brother continue to manufacture their printers like this, I don't know, but they've certainly been like that for the last seven or eight years that we've been doing continuous ink systems. <clears throat> so it's just running its copy off now, uh, and we'll have a look and see what it comes out like. So the reason it's taking a while is I did select the uh, the best settings. I know when you select the best photo quality settings uh, on the Brother machines, they do take uh, a bit longer than the normal fast draft mode. Yeah, so for I'm quite quite happy with that. It's a it's a good reflection uh, of the image that we've posted underneath the scanner, which I'll show you. So just remember that I've done I've done the photo on the original photo is on photo gloss paper, so it will look different, and uh, the copy is on plain matte white paper. So that's how you install the continuous ink system from City Ink Express for their brother LC960, LC970, LC1000 printers and their test model is a brother DCP130C. Thank you.